Namaste and welcome to Namaste Yoga. My name is Surbhi. I am a yoga teacher. The goal of my channel is to tell you all those little tips and tricks that many yoga teachers know but somehow in class setting they do not get conveyed to the students. So let's start today's session. For today's practice we might be needing a yoga belt, two yoga blocks and a stool or a chair. Let's start with warm up. Stand in Tadasana, feet hip width apart, parallel to each other. Clasp your hands. Inhale your arms up. Come on your tippy toes. Try to maintain your balance. Keep looking at one point in front of you. Exhale down. One more time. Inhale your arms up. Keep your elbow straight. Keep your body straight. Exhale down. One last time. Inhale your arms up. Come on your tippy toes. Maintain your balance. Exhale down. Relax. Then spread your legs a little bit more wider. Inhale your right arm up. Exhale and pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stay there. Stay there. Keep breathing. Feel the stretch on the whole side of the body. Breathe into that stretch. And slowly come back. Then inhale your left arm up. Exhale and pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stay there. Stay there. Keep breathing. Feel the stretch. Breathe into that stretch. Breathe. And slowly come back. Relax, take a couple of normal breaths. Then bring your arms in front of you. We are going to twist our spine. Inhale in the center. As you exhale, take your right arm back. Bring your left hand on your right shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, the other side. Inhale, center. Exhale, back. Inhale, center. Exhale, back. Do it at your own pace. Follow your own breath. Every time you exhale, look back. Do it a little faster. Exhale, exhale, exhale. And slow down. Two more. Exhale, exhale and relax. Relax in Tadasana. Take a couple of normal breaths. Now grab your belt. Hold your belt in your right hand and take your right hand up. Now hold the belt from the bottom from your left hand. Now pull your belt down with your left hand so your right shoulder opens up. Feel the stretch on the shoulder. Open your shoulder. These stretches are very good to open the shoulders and in future to help you do the back stretch or back bend poses. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Feel the stretch. And now very, very slowly bring your hands down very slowly. Then switch hands. This time hold the belt in the left hand. Take your left hand up. Hold it from the bottom and pull it down. This time open your left shoulder. Feel the stretch. Breathe into that stretch. Inhale the healing energy 
exhale it to the muscles that you are working on or to the body part just imagine you are sending the breath towards that part now very very slowly bring your hands back very slowly and relax keep your hands on your knees we are going to rotate our knees clockwise five times and then anti clockwise five times next we are going to do some knee bends so if you have severe knee problems you can keep a chair in front of you or you can take the support of the ground spread your legs a little bit more wider clasp your hands or do it accordingly whatever you feel comfortable inhale in the center exhale bend to the side try to bend all the way down and then you're going to raise your toe inhale center exhale the other side inhale center exhale side inhale center exhale the other side continue keep your focus on your breath keep your breath on the body keep going don't give up inhale exhale to the side inhale center exhale side inhale center exhale the other side if you have severe knee pains you can still do this but just don't go all the way down you can stay standing and just bend your leg a little bit and last one inhale exhale the other side and relax come back in tadasana take couple of normal breaths relax your body we are going to warm up our spine going front and back this time inhale your arms up all the way bend backwards as much as you can then keep breathing then again inhale come back exhale bend forward and hang your neck hold on to the opposite elbows and just let go let it all hang do not hold back anything then again inhale all the way up exhale back inhale center exhale and hang engage your core when you are bending forward one more time inhale center exhale go back keep breathing inhale center exhale forward and hang keep breathing keep your core engaged inhale up and relax relax in tadasana take couple of normal breaths keep your focus on the breath and then get your body ready for triangle pose or trikonasana once again spread your legs a little bit wider keep your left leg towards the long edge of the mat and keep your right toward right toe towards the short edge of the mat keep a block handy and keep it by your foot if you are too tight you can keep a stool or a chair by your foot so would only bend as much as you can you will see what i am talking about as we go forward now inhale your arms up roll your shoulders back keep the shoulders there and keep bring your palms down as you inhale bend sideways keep going sideways as much as you can as you exhale bend in triangle pose bend laterally do not come forward 
Please do not hang in the air. Just go however much you can, but rest your hand somewhere, either stool or block, whatever you feel comfortable. Stay in this position and look up towards your hands. If you have high blood pressure, you can look down. If you have any cervical problem, neck issues, you can keep looking straight. Stay in this position, keep breathing. Feel the stretch on the side of the body. Breathe into that stretch. Keep breathing, keep breathing. Stay in this pose. Be absolutely stable and comfortable. One last inhale and slowly come back on the exhale, come to the center and now switch legs. This time your left foot is going to be towards the short edge of the mat. Once again, inhale your arms up, roll your shoulders back, palms down. As you inhale, go sideways. As you start to exhale, start bending sideways, absolutely laterally. Find your sweet spot. However high it is, doesn't matter, but keep bending laterally, keep the geometry of the body correct. Find your sweet spot, stay absolutely stable and comfortable and keep breathing. Look up or look down. Work according to your body. Keep breathing. Inhale the healing energy. Exhale it down to your body. Stay there. One last inhale. On the exhale, very slowly come to the center and relax in Tadasana. Take a couple of normal breaths. Relax your body. The next pose that we are going to do is Adho Mukha Svanasana. So come on all four. Inhale first. On the exhale, Lift your hips up and start walking your feet. We are first going to release any pressure or any tension from our hamstrings or calf muscles. So walk your feet. Few more times and relax. Now focus on your posture and try to open your shoulder joints and Bring your chest towards your thighs. Don't worry about your knees or your heel. Just focus on the spine. Keep breathing. Try to breathe in Ujjayi breath. Stay in this position for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two and one. Slowly drop your knees. Relax in child's pose. Take a couple of normal breaths. We are going to do Adho Mukha Svanasana two more times. Once again, come on all four. Inhale first. On the exhale, lift up. Focus on your spine. Open your shoulder joints. Try to take your back, take your chest towards your thighs. Keep breathing. Do not hold your breath. Try to breathe in Ujjayi. Nice, long, deep breaths. Stay there. Keep the focus on the breath. Just like in my last video, I mentioned in the beginner's video, if you have high blood pressure, you can do Adho Mukha Svanasana using a ball. 
five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your knees, relax your body, relax in child's pose. Take a couple of normal breaths. And we are going to do this one more time. So come on all four. Inhale first. On the exhale, lift up. Find your sweet spot. Find your comfort level. Always when you find your sweet spot. So you should not be hurting. and But you should be going a little beyond your limit. Be absolutely stable and comfortable in the pose. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your knees. Relax in child's pose. Take a few normal breaths. The next pose that we are going to do is lizard pose. One more time. Come in Adho Mukha Svanasana. Raise your right leg up and bring it forward. So both of your hands and your foot, they are all in one line. Now lift your back knee up and pulse up and down. Ten. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop your knee. Now hold on to the front knee and press it down and open your chest and look up. Keep it pressed. Feel the stretch on the legs. Breathe into that stretch. Once again, imagine you are inhaling the healing energy, exhaling it down to your body. Keep breathing. Now very slowly, come to the center. Again, inhale, take your leg all the way up and back in Adho Mukha Svanasana. Maintain your posture and this time raise your left leg up. Inhale up, exhale, bring it forward. So your foot and both of the hands are in one line. Tuck your back toe, raise your knee and start pulsing. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. Drop your knee, hold on to the front knee and press it down. Open your chest, look up, keep breathing. Focus on your breath and direct the breath towards your body. Keep breathing. And slowly come to the center. Again. Take your left leg all the way up and down in Adho Mukha Svanasana and relax in Balakasana or child's pose. Take a couple of normal breaths, relax your body and then sit in Dandasana. Maintain your posture. Next, we will be doing Paschimottanasana. So grab your belt. Hook your belt to both of your feet. Again, we are going to maintain the posture. The goal in Paschimottanasana is not to put your forehead on your knees. If you try to do that, you are going to end up doing a hunchback. So try to take your chest towards your thighs. Hold on to the belt. Inhale. As you inhale, lift your body up. As you exhale, bend forward, pressing from 
your lower back. Engage your core. So imagine someone is pushing you from your lower back. Slowly, slowly, inch by inch, every time you exhale, bend forward. Every time you exhale, bend forward. Keep doing that till you find your sweet spot. Stay there and keep breathing. Do not hold your breath. Keep your core engaged. Keep breathing. Be absolutely stable and comfortable. Do not over push yourself, but don't be too easy on yourself. Keep breathing. Stay there. Be absolutely relaxed. One last inhale. On the exhale, slowly come back and relax. Relax in Dandasana. If the relaxing is not possible in Dandasana, you can just take your hands back and just relax as if you are sitting in a park. The next pose that we are going to do is Naka Asana or Boat Pose. So fold your legs, feet on the ground. You have to focus on your posture again. So we can start by holding our legs. Inhale. On the exhale, engage your core and lift your legs up. Maintain your balance. As your comfort level goes, you can either straighten your legs. If you still feel comfortable, you can let go of the hands. And stay in this position. Keep your core engaged. Stay in this position till you can easily engage, keep your core engaged. The moment you feel like you cannot hold the core anymore, you have to let it go. Release the pose. Once you put your feet down, just lift your hips up a little bit so to take any pressure away from the tailbone. And then again, sit back. We will do this one more time. Fold your legs. Inhale first, on the exhale, come in boat pose. Keep breathing, keep your core engaged. If you feel you closing your eyes will help you in keeping the core engaged, do that. The more you engage your core, the less pressure on the lower back. Stay there. Keep breathing, keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Again, lift up. Release the pressure from your lower back. And relax. On the mat, lie down in Shavasana. Take a couple of normal breaths. Now fold both of your legs, feet on the ground. Make sure that your ankle, your knees and your hip bones, they are all in one line. So your knees should not be touching each other. Your feet should not be touching each other. They should be hip distance apart. And we are going to take some magic breaths. So as you inhale, your belly goes up. As you exhale, belly goes in, tuck your tailbone or tilt your pelvic and touch the lower back to the ground. So do this slight motion of your hip joint. Inhale, there's a space in between the ground and the lower back. Exhale, fill that space, belly goes down. Keep practicing this magic breath. It is going to be very important in every pose that we do. It really works magic on our internal obliques. So if you want a flat tummy, this is the breath you should be focusing on. Keep breathing. Now this time, when you exhale and you fill uh, the gap, when you have lower back on the ground, tummy engaged, core engaged, keep that position and keep breathing. So stay in this position, 
keep breathing you might feel that you are feeling a pressure on your quads or your legs are getting shaky all of it it's okay don't worry about it just keep breathing take few more breaths like this and relax straighten both of your legs we are going to do pavan muktasana so remember the magic breath fold your leg right leg hold on to your knee and engage the core engage the magic breath with the left leg we are going to make circles do not make sudden movements so your circles should be very smooth only move your leg as wide or as little as possible so when you are moving the leg your upper body should not move which is why you need to keep the core engaged so start making circles inhale half the rotation exhale the other half make five clockwise five counterclockwise and then counterclockwise inhale half the rotation exhale the other half and relax then switch legs hold on to your left leg point your toe forward and start making circles inhale half the rotation exhale the other half once you are done five times do counter clockwise keep your core engaged do not let your upper body move only move your leg and relax again relax in shavasana for couple of breaths we are not done yet the next pose that we are going to do is supta pad angusthasana or reclining hand to toe pose so grab your belt keep your left leg folded foot on the ground and hook your belt to your right now remember the magic breath inhale first on the exhale engage the magic breath engage your core and raise your leg all the way up to 90 degree angle now keep this knee absolutely straight and on every exhale try to go deeper in the pose and bring the leg towards you if you can easily hold on to your toe you can do that you don't need the belt if you cannot use the belt keep bringing your leg towards you find your sweet spot you should be feeling a good stretch on the whole back side of the leg all the way to your hips breathe into that stretch if you fold your knee you will not feel that stretch so keep your knee straight keep breathing keep breathing now let go of the belt if you are holding the belt point your toe up and use your core strength to bring the leg down on the count of 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 keep your core engaged 6 Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Take couple of normal breaths. Then switch legs. Hook your belt to your left foot. Fold your right knee. Remember when you are pulling your leg up towards you. do not let the folded knee fall on the side so you need to keep the core engaged keep the quad engaged so your knee does not fall 
now again once you are ready inhale first on the exhale engage the magic breath fill the gap your lower back should be touching the ground and raise your leg up and then with every exhale go deeper in the pose feel the stretch on the whole back side of the leg find your sweet spot stay there keep breathing keep breathing keep your focus on the breath keep your breath on the muscles that you're working on inhale exhale do not bend your knee keep your knee straight now slowly let go of the belt point your toe up and start bringing your leg down keeping your core engaged 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 don't let go of the core 4 3 2 1 relax relax take a couple of normal breaths Now we are going to do the same thing with both legs. So hook your belt on both legs this time. Again inhale. On the exhale, engage your core, raise your legs up to 90 degree angle. Keep breathing. Now this time we are going to bring both of the legs down. So let go of the belt. Make sure your lower back is touching the ground. Point your toe up. You can hold on to the edges of the mat if you need to. And start bringing your legs down. 15 14 13 keep breathing 12 11 10 keep your core engaged 8 7 6 Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Relax. Hug your knees. Rock side to side. Relax. Release any pressure from your lower back if you need to. Massage your lower back. Relax your body. The next pose that we are going to do is Suchirandra Asana. I call it Figure Four, also known as Eye of the Needle pose. Bring your right foot on the left knee and hold your left leg. Inhale first. On the exhale, squeeze your leg towards you. Feel the stretch on the hip, whichever leg is on the top. on that hip you should be feeling a good stretch breathe into that stretch keep breathing if you want to feel a deeper stretch you need to pull your leg towards you a little more keep breathing keep breathing focus on your breath and slowly release then switch legs again inhale first on the exhale squeeze your leg towards you this time feel the stretch on the other hip breathe into that stretch Keep breathing. Keep your focus on the breath. And 
and slowly release relax you can straighten your legs relax in shavasana for a couple of breaths just few more we are not there yet next we are going to do bridge pose again fold your knees make sure there is a hip width distance between your feet and your knees hands on your sides palms facing down remember the magic breath inhale first on the exhale engage the magic breath squeeze the hip muscles and lift yourself up keep your quads your thighs engaged do not let your knees fall on the side go as high or as low as you can if you cannot hold on this pose for a long time you can use a block and keep it underneath your back stay there keep breathing keep breathing focus on the breath keep the hip muscles squeezed the whole time even if you're resting on the block your hips your thighs should be engaged do not let go of those muscles and very slowly start coming back one vertebrae at a time very very slowly come back once you are back on the ground your spine is on the ground hug your knees in apanasana inhale first on the exhale squeeze your knees towards you lift your head up and just rock massage your spine you can rock back and forth at least 5 to 6 times rock side to side massage your lower back you can rock your knees in circular motion to give your lower back a deeper massage make sure you rotate them anti clockwise also we are going to do some ending stretches so bring your arms out wide in a t and bring your leg knee on top of the other if you can tangle your legs like we do in garudasana you can do that if you cannot it's okay just keep your knee on top of the other and follow the breath precisely inhale first on the exhale drop your knee to one side look in the opposite direction inhale center exhale to the other side inhale center exhale to the side continue this motion follow the breath exhale the other side inhale exhale keep doing that feel the twist of the spine stretch your body last one inhale to the center and then switch legs this time the other knee comes on the top again inhale first exhale side inhale center exhale the other side continue at your own pace follow your breath every time you exhale drop your knee every time you inhale come to the center follow your own body last one each side exhale to the side and relax straighten your legs relax your body we are going to do utpakarshan next so bring your right foot on the left knee hold on to your right knee with the left hand inhale first 
on the exhale press your knee in opposite direction press it down and look in the opposite direction feel the stretch stay here we are not moving this time just stay in one position and feel the stretch breathe into that stretch this is the last stretch of the class so make good use relax your body slowly come back and then switch legs again inhale first on the exhale press your knee down look in the opposite direction relax your body breathe into that stretch keep breathing slowly come to the center and relax in shavasana let your body be absolutely relaxed let your feet fall on the side wherever they are falling hands on your sides palms facing up nose pointing up close your eyes you will be listening to the music for next couple of minutes just observe your body from head to toe or toe to head for next few minutes in silence very very slowly start bringing your consciousness back towards your body become aware of the weight of the body on the mat become aware of your surroundings listen to the noises around you wiggle your toes wiggle your fingers 
turn your head from one side to the other now raise your right hand all the way up and very very slowly turn your whole body towards your right very slowly taking the support of your left hand sit back up in sukhasana drop your palms generate some warm healing energy cup them around your eyes and very very slowly with few blinks looking through the gaps of the fingers open your eyes with a beautiful smile i hope you enjoyed today's session if you have any question or concern please feel free to write them in the comment box i would love to answer them if you have not done so please subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell so you know when my next video is coming You can also subscribe to the channel membership for exclusive videos. I wish you all a very happy and healthy day. Namaste.